on this system here, which is the smallest system, it's a Dell 790. It has eight gigs of RAM. That's what actually what I'm gonna be running my VM host on it. So what I'm gonna do now is pull it out. I thought about buying a server, but for what I'm doing now, this should do. Suffice? It should suffice? Yeah. Should be sufficient? Or, yeah, you know what I mean. So, what I'm doing is pulling this out. I went to Micro Center today and bought some RAM. Now, it has two Kingston uh, 4 gig sticks in it. This is like an unofficial live tour. I should be using all of you that are taking your A+. Plus. Yes, I should be using the ESD mat, but I'm not. You know, there's no power running to it. It's on the wood table. We should be good to go. Cool, I'm gonna pull out this CD-ROM. And I have two solid state drives in there. So, we'll get that rocking and rolling. Try and get this lifted up and out. Now, there's two four gig Kingston dry dry. Um, there's two Kingston four gig sticks in here. Um, they're going to be matching on this side. They all should be matching, honestly. But as long as I believe two of the four, each of the two pairs are matching, we should be good. But they're the same speed, so that's a plus. But the brands don't match, which they all should match, and you should buy them at the same time. But hey, I want the micro center. That's why I got the RAM for. It was seventy-five dollars. They price match, and so here's the RAM. You can see that. I'll throw that in here. Stick one. And I have Windows 10 Pro on this system that I'm running. And then I have VM Workstation that I'm building my host in. And I would have put my open file in here, but you know, I'm really trying to monitor the resources that I'm utilizing. Let's make sure that's in there right. Cool. And if memory is not going in there, correct, doesn't feel like it's going in, never try and jam it. You know, take it out, reseed it, and then you know go about it that way but so now i have this in here this is kind of tricky since everything is so tight you know you kind of gotta adjust it to get it to go all right never never force it you know what i mean it should kind of pop and i'm doing this one-handed which sucks you know but hey i want you all to be able to see this and Come on, come on, come on. Now, let me get my stand. Like, I do have a stand. We could do it that way, huh? All right. Boom. We'll adjust that. Boom. Now, two hands on them. All right. So, let's see what's going on. All right. This side needs to go in first. We're gonna kind of adjust this around these cables. Slide it over. Boom. It's in there. Make sure it's there. Now we'll lock it. Boom. Make sure this is in there. Pop this in. Pop this in here. Boom. Here, here. Click. We're good to go. Put that on there. I'm doing this all upside down, so it's kind of awkward. But. I used to work for Dell. <laughs> I used to do this for a living. So this isn't too hard. Dell 790. Um, SMF, small, well, SFM, small form factor. Is, yeah. What is it? Yeah, small form factor. So small form factor. So S SFF is what this is. You also have the small, this is one even smaller than this, but yeah. So, as you can see, I have open file running here. Just make sure you can see that. Um, 
plug this in. I got my KVM set up so I can switch it between my boxes. Uh, did say that the rim changed, so we might be good. Make sure we still running over here. Cool. And if you do Windows I, there's another way to do it, but matter of fact, where's my mouse? It must be trying to install my mouse. My mouse should be working. Alright, so we'll just go to Control or Delete and go down here to Task Manager. And once Task Manager come up, we'll tab over to performance and now huh it says I have 14.4 gigabytes of RAM available and use is 1.5 gigabytes which makes 16 gigs of RAM now why let me see if y'all can see that I don't know why my mouse isn't coming up I should just record this part with OBS We'll do it like this. Cool. Yep. You can see the rim is installed and, and working and functioning, but my mouse isn't. <laughs> Let's switch this over and see if it comes back up. All right. Cool. There's my mouse. RAM is good to go. Um, 1.4 gigabytes uh, is in use, and we should be good. Boom. And actually, you, there's another way to see it. If you go to Windows I and then go to uh, Update and Security. And then you go over here to uh, OS Build Info. And then you can see how many, how many gigs of RAM is installed. Can you see that? And here, if you do go in here, there was like a glitch in Windows 10 to where Rather than saying 15.9 gigs or something, it'll say way less than that. Um, that's if you had an upgrade and there was something you can do to fix it. So if you, any of you have an issue where your RAM isn't showing up, um, let me know as far as usable. If it, if it says uh, a really crazy low number and usable, let me know and I'll let you know how to fix that. But other than that, we're good to go. So let's pull this out. Alright, so what I, I want to go to open file real quick so you can see what that looks like. Let's go to Edge. Because Chrome, for some reason, doesn't work well with an open file. So let's go to Paste. And should have went Go. And now you're going to get that the certificate isn't good, which is not. So if we just go to web page, as you, you'll see open file come up. And then if we go to another tab, we should be able to go to the host. I believe it's dot four. Let me see. My host is dot four. Yeah. So th this is slow, man. I'm about to see if, if there's something I can do to speed this up, but we'll wait. And actually, no wonder my host isn't coming up because my host isn't started. Ha! Uh, so we'll start my my host. But op there's open file right here. So um, I haven't set up open file yet. So the default is just gonna be open file password. And then that should log us into open file. And now once my host is, you can see my host is booting. Um, it says user loaded successfully, which that's pretty fast. So if we go here, we should be able to log into the host now. Should be faster than this. Um, all right, it says my host is good. Let me check my networking. All right, so that's cool. Let's make sure I'm on bridge mode. Cool. All right, and it's all 
Let me make sure my PC has the right um, Ethernet. Let's just do a CMD. CMD. And we do an IP config. Yep. We're in the same subnet, so it should be working. Um, let's go back. Open Fowler. Open Fowler. Password. Cool. Log in. And why this isn't working? Okay, there we go. Boom, details. And now we pull up my host. All right, so it was still loading. Now, what's going on with OpenFiler? Why are you not letting me in? Invalid password. Open Fowler. Let's make sure. Sometimes I don't type correctly. So let's see. All right, and so to get in my host, password. All right. Cool. Now let's try something else, man. Let's try Chrome. Maybe Chrome will work. Let me disconnect from that. Let's try Chrome for open file because it should be going. Hmm. All right, and so now we're in my house, and I've assigned this four gigs of RAM, which I need to upgrade this to six. Now that I have 16 gigs, so I'm gonna have two hosts, and each of them will have six gigs of RAM. This is going on with OpenFile. Is it, are you asleep? Are you turned on? Hey, it's on. So what's up? Stop open file me in. Okay. There we go. Open Fowler and password. It's the default. I never changed it. So it should let me in. There we go. There we go. Just had to switch over to Chrome. And now we're in open Fowler. And so now what I'm gonna do in here is configure my SCSI or iSCSI. Get that on, get that. Initiate it with, with the target, and we should be good to go. So, connect the target to the initiator, you know what I mean, and get my storage set up. But, you know, I'll be making more videos about this soon. So, my host, like I said, it has four gigs of RAM now, and we want to upgrade this to six, but we'll have to shut it down. So, what I'll do. Just go in here, F12, hit the password. All right, and now what I want to do is F2 for shutdown. This all is, this is pretty simple. All right. You, so I come in here to settings. Man, can you see this? What I should do is, I'm going to do this again at OBS so you all can see it, but I'm just going to come in here and raise this to 6 gigs. I need to see, let's see. So 4 gigs is uh, 496. What would it be? 1024. So 496 plus 1024. 5,000, no, so 496 plus 2,048, yeah, that's it, so it'll be 6,144, and how did I come up with that, because that's the way, that's the way memory and all that stuff works, um, so right now, if it was 8 gigs, you would add another 2,000. 48 so to verify 
is 6,144. And if we go up to eight, you add another 2,048, and it'll be um, 8,192. So if we go back, 6,144. That's how much room we want in here. Boom. And as you can see, the memory now says 6 gigs.